Hey there, guys, and welcome to Tharsis. Now, just a quick note for those of you who are wondering and pay attention to the channel. This game is going to be taking Rampage Knights' place on the channel. Rampage Knights is going to be taking is going to be taking kind of a back seat at the moment, and the reason for that is because the game doesn't get that many views. And as much as I love the game and I think that it's great for YouTube videos from the random aspect of it, this game kind of does almost exactly the same things as Rampage Knights and Ironcast. So as it's a newer game and it's more publicized at the moment and for the growth and the support of the channel, I've decided to do Tharsis instead of Rampage Knights. There will be Rampage Knights videos here and there, but for now, this is going to be the game of choice. Let's get straight into this. So, for those of you who don't know what Tharsis is, I'm going to do this so I can stock up some food, and then we can move the doctor here to finish it. For those of you who don't know what Tharsis is, it's a dice-based, randomly generated roguelike game, I think. I think it's roguelike. I always get confused with those terms. Um, but essentially, your entire point of the game is to get to Mars. You have to survive 10 turns, so this is the first turn, where you have to use dice to make these totals and survive. Now, each event has different problems, and each problem can be solved in different ways. Right now, I need to focus on these. Right, we want to keep the four because there's a better chance of rolling a four. You're kidding me, really? You're kidding me. Okay, sure thing. We can't take it out to research projects, can we? Nope. And we can't do anything with this dice. Okay, can we... Do we want to re-roll this? Um, not particularly because it gives us plus one health to all crew, so... I could put it there, but it's not going to do anything, unfortunately. And then the mechanic's going to have to move here, otherwise if he moves el elsewhere, he will die. But we can do this. Oh cool, we got two fives, a two and a one, which is really unlucky. Okay, we got a stasis, which is fine. And there we go. Sorted. We could have actually done plus one to the ship there, in all honesty, and we probably should have. But for right now, it doesn't particularly matter. On the subject of cutscenes, this game plays a cutscene at the end of every turn. I do not wish to show the cutscenes for two reasons. The first reason being it's spoilers. The story in this game is brilliant. It is so good. Very, 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 very short, but it is excellent. The only way you're going to see that story is by either watching someone who shows it or by getting the game yourself. And secondly, it also lessens how much content is in a video so I can do more gameplay and not focus so much on the cutscenes. Um, no. Okay, there we are. I was like, why am I, why am I going to lose health on the crew? That seems like a really silly idea. This one's a HE tank failure, which I don't think that actually does anything. Oh, it causes one damage. Okay. I don't particularly want to do this, but we don't have too much of a choice. I can't move anyone there, can I? I could move the doctor there. I think the captain and the doctor are kind of better off where they are for the moment. Okay, so the five and the four is perfect. We're probably better off healing the ship here. So that's what we're going to do. Right, then the Doctor and the Captain are going to do this. Ouch, that is a really bad roll. Oh, there we go, two sixes, that's what I want to see. We're going to do this. So that gives the Captain and the Doctor some health. And then we're going to have the Doctor roll. So he got the five, which is what we needed. He's going to re-roll. Ah, uh, damn it. I shouldn't actually have re-rolled that in hindsight. Doesn't particularly matter. Can't do anything with this. 
stick it there, but it's not going to do anything, which is uh, kind of unfortunate, really. But, oh well. Now, something we might want to focus on here is the fact that... Okay, that we've just rolled two fours. Which... We're better off sticking that into ship repair. Okay, that's just unlucky. I thought that was going to be, like, injury and or something then. We might as well stick it into here, because we can't use it down here, which is fine. And continue on. So the ship's going to take one damage, which is fine. Don't really mind that. Skip that. Minus two dice for us. Well, mechanic goes down to one dice. They both go down to one dice, plus two health for them. Whereas this one is plus two assists, plus 20 stress for us. I do have the food. Oh, I'd have to give. I have to give other people food though. The captain and the doctor need food right now. Minus two health is going to kill people, which is an issue. System failure means that another system is going to go offline, so this needs to be repaired ASAP as well. Minus one dice for all isn't that big. HE tank failure. I would prefer it if you went here. Right now. So I think, I think that's where you're going to go. Okay. Well, you got a four, so I'll give you that one. I'm going to move the one down there, and we're going to use plus one health to all crew. And then... We're going to use the five, and then we're going to move another crew member there. Yeah, we'll likely use the Doctor. She has the most health. Oh, look Look at those rolls. So what do you need? A one. Almost, almost so perfect. And we'll do that to give everyone in the module health. Now, I would like it if our crew didn't lose plus one dice each. Oh, I was kind of hoping for the... Um... Alright, we're going to roll again. Uh, we didn't get anything, unfortunately. We will do this, and then we'll do this. Sedatives is pretty good, so we'll probably be saving up for that now. Right. Yeah, we're better off doing this, because this is something that... Um, can really, really impact our run here. Finish, and go. So the ship's going to take one damage. Don't really care. Okay, so minus 40 stress for all crew. Minus one dice for all crew. That's not actually that bad. Plus one food, minus two dice for us. Which isn't that bad. I think I'd prefer the stress at this point. So, yeah, we're going to do that one. Um, we're not going to do cannibalism just yet. Unfortunately, I think one of the easiest ways to beat this game is to use cannibalism. You can do a run without committing cannibalism. It's kind of difficult to do. I'm not going to lie. I think the captain's going to have to go here. Yeah. Okay. The five. Oh, you dick. Okay, roll again. Three and a four. That's fine for me. Um. Yeah, because we only have one dice for the mechanic, so we're probably better off. There we are. Sorted. Finish. So that's now going to make it so that one less system gets damaged every turn. We then want to send these two down here. Okay, so that's got stasis on it, which is not good at all, to be honest. But this doctor has two dice, so the chances of her completing this are extremely high. And there we are. So everyone's going to take one minus one health, which at the moment doesn't particularly matter. Okay. So we can take no, my, uh, we can take no movement damage, which means minus one dice for them. 
or plus 20 stress. Um, I think we're going to take the no movement damage because the minus one dice really doesn't make a difference. That means everyone's on one dice, though. Which unfortunately means we might we actually have to commit cannibalism here, which is really, really unfortunate. But steering failure. Okay. Heater heater failure. Okay. This needs to be fixed now, but we can't uh fix it at the moment. What I'm going to do is we're going to roll a five or higher here. Or we're going to try. Sure. That's just it's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, we could override here. We might want to focus on sedatives, though. Oh, she can actually deploy here without taking damage. Okay, so she needs to roll. So we got a five. We're going to keep the four. We're going to roll. And we're going to roll again. Oh, you dick. Okay. That, that's fine. It can uh, it can be fixed. It can be solved. That does mean the ship's taking three damage next turn, which we can't avoid, can we? Um, deploy. No, we we can't avoid it. Yep, this is the end of the run. Okay. Uh, oh, we could have avoided it actually. If I just paid attention. Um. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, that actually killed our mechanic. So we've now lost one of the most vital members of our crew. So minus 30 stress for her, minus 1 health, that kills a crew member. We're not going to do that. Isn't the ship at 1 health? No. Okay, so we're going to do that. We now get more meat, which the doctor can eat and the captain can eat, but Silver cannot eat. And now we're at the point in the game where I don't think we can win this at all, which is really, really sad. Um... We'll try and get some good rolls here, but I really just don't know what we can do. Uh, we only need six, so we've got six. We're going to get two. Roll. I could really use a four. Give me a four, please. Please. No. Okay. Well, we could put this in here, and then we can use sedatives. And then we're going to put a one in. Okay, so we got a three module repair, which might be useful. So we need to roll this. Okay, they're both in stasis, which is fine. There we go. He's going to have to ignore this, I think. I think we're dead. Yeah, we're just straight up dead. There's no physical way of dealing with this. This is something I I particularly don't enjoy about this game. I've, I've I've come across a few scenarios where this has happened, where essentially it just goes, "Oh uh, no, you you know it it can't be done. It physically cannot be done." How was I meant to do this? Even with four crew. There's no way I could have repaired my ship enough to not die. That's kind of sad. I, I do need to get better at this game, I'm not going to deny that, but I do believe at that point in time we were screwed over. As I said, I've, I've come across... There's times where I've thought, you know, perhaps I'm screwed here, and then I've worked my way out of it. But in that scenario in particular, I don't think there was a way out of it. And that was... That's where it gets really difficult for me, especially when it comes down to... I need to make the decision of, you know, do, do I kill a crew member, or what do I focus on? 
and I'll admit that perhaps I don't make the best decisions, but I honestly do believe there are times in this game where it's an unwinnable situation, and I really do wish that that would be fixed in some way, especially if you're on normal. For instance, there's a hard difficulty, which I don't really want to know what that does, but basically, I don't... I don't want to play on hard. How how should I put this? We're also uh, only one food away from getting the technician, so maybe that will be uh, that will be good. Maybe that will we could replace the doctor then, which is one of the most useful useless characters in the game, in my opinion. But as I was saying, I think the if. There should be a maximum how many events can occur at once. So you can only have like a maximum of four events at once. Hence, in that scenario, in that scenario, every module was had an event on it. If it was on normal, it should be locked down to four, in my opinion. And then if it's on hard, take the limit off. You know, that would be a jump from going from normal to hard, for example. I... I really do enjoy this game. I find it fascinating. But there are times like that where I believe that it's an unwinnable situation. And if I made a bad choice, okay. But seriously, it makes me feel bad. And I don't think a game should be able to do that. Anyway, sorry about that kind of small little rant there. Guys, I've been Phoenix Zypher. I've been your host. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed if you have enjoyed Tharsis and want to see more of it, then make sure you hit subscribe. I really do recommend it. If you've enjoyed the video and want to see more, then hit the like button. If you have not enjoyed the video, then hit the dislike button. If you have any criticisms for myself or for the video, or if you want to comment on how I could have avoided that situation, then make sure to comment as well. Other than that, guys. Thank you for watching, and adios, mis amigos.